Okay. Show me. Hi there, guys. Welcome back to the Dutch TV channel. Thank you very much for tuning in for another video about the eSky Eagle, an 1100 mm bush plane. Is that fair to say? Well, it, it does have pretty big wheels. I've already tested that in a previous video and I'll have a link up there to that uh, video. I took it off from that field over here actually. No problem at all. Damn wheels work out well. Uh, today we're going to be flying from Tarmac and I, I had actually planned to do a video in which I test its flight envelope to do uh, some uh, 3D flying, right? Um, however, it is far too windy. Yeah, I guess I <laughs> forgot <laughs> I live in the Netherlands. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it really is far too windy. Regrettably, but uh, I'm going to fly it uh, anyway. I've got uh, batteries charged and um, we're going to try uh, to see what its power envelope uh, is. Can it do, uh, for instance, vertical climb outs? And um, what the authority of the rudder and elevator and the ailerons are? That's always good to know, right? Um, is it um, remarkably uh, touchy on the elevator or responsive, if you will? Um, how uh, does the rudder actually work or is it too small, too big? Ailerons, the same thing. And um, we're going to see if the, the power setup is adequate to um, get you out of trouble. I'm sure it flies. I've already tried if it flies, but uh, well. Okay, so um, also the landings will be quite awkward. The, the, the landing strip over here is very luxurious, as you can see. It's a wide open road and it's uh, virgin tarmac great however we've got the sun over there <laughs> which uh, is exactly uh, um, out of my landing approach so <laughs> on approach i see nothing <laughs> uh, yeah oh and i'm gonna have to uh, land crosswind and uh, yeah it's a strong wind i'm probably gonna uh, divert my landing to over there so um, yeah kind of out of sight of the of the camera but uh, it'll be okay yes okay let's do some flying here we go all right here goes nothing. Uh, first thing um, I noticed on uh, my previous flights is that it uh, needs quite a lot of speed to take off. I'm sure you noticed that. So I'm not sure what that means. Maybe the angle of attack isn't all that great. Maybe the, the front landing strut is slightly short. Uh, short, short, long. Uh, long or short? What is it, Mr. Dutch RC? Okay, so the nose is too low for on takeoff. Okay, so the, the front landing strut isn't overly long. Um, okay, but uh, well, uh, I guess the, the the takeoffs are realistic. I think that makes sense. Okay, that was the takeoff. Let's try a roll into the wind and a bit more speed. Yeah. Okay, I was uh, expecting that. So I increased the speed a little because I uh, expected the rolls to be slow. And even at a higher speed, the rolls were pretty slow. Just so you know. And uh, let's try the rudder. Yeah, oh, the, okay. I was expecting that very, very much. Now, um, why was I expecting that the rudder would be responsive? Well, <laughs> uh, the rudder is right in the propulsion, right? 
we've got a propeller um, behind the main wing in front of that uh, the tail assembly so the rudder yeah I was expecting it to be uh, touchy or responsive and it is very actually yeah so a stall turn so let's try a stall turn oh yeah Okay, it's not a neutral stall turn and it's not a 3D plane, this is not an acrobatic plane. So I'm not uh, gonna fault the plane for that, but again, the rudder is responsive, as is the elevator. Very much so. Now let's um, try to get the speed down a bit. Okay, uh, that's not, um, it doesn't slow down a whole lot. Uh, that's weird actually, with them big wheels. I'm sure those create a lot of drag, but it doesn't slow down a whole lot. This is uh, 20 to 30% throttle. Yeah, it does slow down of course. It doesn't stall, but it's close to stalling I'd say. It does look like it uh, is thinking, is considering a stall. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, it slows kind of down to bicycle speed and definitely not stall plane speed. Then again, it doesn't have flaps. Three minutes. And with this wind, I'm not going to try to use the ailerons as flapperons. I'm pretty sure uh, the wingtips will stall out if I try that with this amount of wind. Um, this is, again, like I mentioned in my uh, previous flight video, a very relaxing plane to fly. There is um, nothing really wrong with it. And you won't be really able to see that, but uh, that uh, black canopy uh, definitely aids in uh, orientation, as do the landing gear. That makes sense, right? They hang down from the plane, big wheels. You definitely are helped by those uh, in orientation. So that, uh, yeah, it doesn't really need extra striping, which is nice. Two minutes. Two minutes. All right, let's try uh, landing this plane. And uh, yeah, again, um, adverse conditions. Uh, we've got the sun on our left and we're going to have to try to land in crosswind. Um, yeah. Oh, that's no good. Okay, that was too high. Let's try that again. Yeah, hard to judge the speed like this, obviously. But, okay, uh, bumpy landing, but it's down. And, uh, okay, taxi test. And um, the plane does have a tendency to flip over <laughs> with the wind on its tail.
that was <laughs> very slow, but damn. Rudder response uh, well, hot damn. The rudder has a lot of authority. Okay, so I had expected the ailerons to have more authority. Those don't do a lot. The elevator has a lot of authority. The rudder has a lot of authority. The ailerons, meh. And uh, that's probably partially because I'm not flying all that fast. But also the ailerons are obviously not in the proper wash. But again, yeah, in this amount of wind, the airplane flies just fine. Better than it has any business doing, actually. Okay, and um, let's try a glide test. Now, um, I'm going to take it up a little higher, so you won't be able to see the plane much. So I'll switch to the onboard view and cut the throttle and let's see what happens. Okay, it drops its nose and I'm catching it with the elevator. And... Okay, it doesn't stall out at all. And that's probably due to the um, uh, big wheels, those kind of acts like pendulums, maybe, keeping the fuselage below, below the wing. And that, uh, yeah, okay, so uh, it floats quite nicely, actually. Yeah, so the roll rate, let's try it at a higher speed. Yeah, okay, at a higher speed the roll rate is a bit better. That makes sense, doesn't it? I had um, really planned to do a, a flight envelope test of this plane, so do some uh, acrobatics with it. But there is far too much wind. Regrettably. Oh, um, I should maybe try a looping. Three minutes. Why not? Let's uh, bring it back into the wind. And try a looping. Okay, easy. Yeah, it, uh, it doesn't lack power, this setup. It's not a screamer, uh, the airframe and those big wheels simply create too much drag. But it's not... Uh... Oh, okay, it climbs out well too. Not unlimited vertical climb out, but uh, well. It climbs more than adequately. Two minutes. Okay, this is uh, forty percent. Okay. Oh, that also means that it doesn't slow down too much on lower fro uh, throttle settings, which is weird. Let's try that again. 40% throttle. 
completely controllable. So yeah, it flies well at lower speeds as well. Okay, let's try a landing. Uh, the, the sun is a little bit in my face. Yeah, it might be a little bit of a problem. Oh, it's time for me to land, my radio says. Yeah, um, okay, um, I uh, regret we had to land with my, my back against the sun and um, <laughs> a lot further away from me than I wanted to and with this amount of wind taxiing the plane isn't all that easy. Oh, I've hit the dirt, damn it. Timer one elapsed. Alright, so again, a comfy ride with this plane. It's a very easy plane. I'm uh, definitely happy with my purchase, so to speak. And uh, yeah, um, I've waited for a couple of weeks by now <laughs> for uh, the wind to uh, die down over here, but it's not uh, gonna happen. So what uh, I'm gonna do now, in the next video, we're gonna slap an FPV set onto this plane. It's definitely a nice plane to FPV, uh, I think. It flies uh, relaxing. Um, so that's what I got this plane for, for, for sightseeing, if you will. Not uh, long range, but sightseeing, and it should be able to take off and land, um, well, at least on a grassy surface such as we have over here. Okay, so that's uh, coming up, FPVing this airplane. Be on the lookout for that. For now, I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.